houses for uh, a long time now. And I've gone to mostly houses, like abandoned farmhouses, and I've always kind of wanted to go to a hospital. And so my friend contacted me about, you know, hey, we're going to this hospital that just shut down. Like, I had to grab it. throughout the entire thing, just the things that were left behind were unbelievable. We went into, I believe in the basement area, there was, uh, we ran into a pool that was filled with some disgusting water, but only at the last like three or four, or maybe more than that, maybe half because of the decline on the pool. So it was really, really odd, like having the, the water was just absolutely disgusting. I can't even imagine what was living in it, but we, for some reason, decided to go down into the pool and take some pictures on the dry end and it was a really cool room overall though there was a lot of windows and things that shed in a lot of light and just really interesting i saw the crane hits and i wanted to see what the progress was at the demolition i live in the neighborhood and I was interested in the building and interested in the architecture. In my job, uh, we respond to environmental emergencies, including mercury spills, and some of the demolition contractors have apparently thrown some uh, manometers and thermometers out of the floors and spilled mercury into the courtyard. So. I think it has to do with uh, the Olympic Village plans. I see all abandoned places as being a kind of art. And it doesn't necessarily stop with the hospitals, but I think the hospital definitely had a greater impact on me. And just the enormity of it and the amount of things and the amount of space. And I think, yes, the, the hospital itself was just a giant piece of art that, you know, much weather and time had created to make it look the way that it did.